It's time to start turning in those ballots, but do you know the proper steps to take before you cast your vote? KRX 5 News reporter Katrin Asaf has more on what you should double check before turning them in. Well, it seems pretty simple. Just fill out the ballot and turn it in. But the county clerk and recorder want you to know some key tips before you drop that envelope off. It's finally time to start filling out those ballots and making sure your vote counts. Although voting seems straightforward, here's what you need to know about sending those ballots in. By now, all registered voters should have received election packets in the mail. So if you're registered and if your address is correct, um, on our records, then you should have received a ballot already. If you haven't, go to GoVoteColorado.com or your nearest voter service and polling center to request a ballot. The next step is probably the most critical, studying up on all those ballot measures. We sent out um, informational booklets. The state does the blue book. Um, that blue book is available online if you didn't get one. Um, the other informational booklet is a Mesa County Tabor notice of the local issues. Not to mention the candidates running for elected office. Just simply Google the candidate's names and um, that should take you to a candidate's website. The county clerk and recorder recommends taking your time when filling out those ballots and reading through all the information given. When you've made all your important decisions, it's time to turn it in. Ballots can be turned in 24 hours a day in five drop boxes across the county. Or go to your nearest polling center where boxes are also set up. Voting in person is also an option. And if you'd rather just vote on one of our tablets, you can vote in person as well. And the one thing that most people forget when turning in their ballots is signing the envelope. In order for a mail ballot to be counted, we have to do signature verification. So it's important for people to remember to sign their envelope. Not only sign it, but also verify that they're signing the correct envelope. For those who have not sent in their votes yet, there is still time to do so. Although it's better to get it done earlier to avoid the election day rush. People can vote until 7 p.m. on election day, November 6th, but we encourage folks to get it done earlier if they can. If you have not received your ballot yet or you have any other issues, go to GoVoteColorado.com or your nearest voter service and polling center. Those five drop box locations mentioned should be listed on a slip in your ballot packet. First on the Western Slope, I'm Katrin Asaf reporting for KRX 5 News.